Both teams had a bye two weeks ago and both sides have had completely contrasting fortunes coming off the bye. Who will take this massive step forward and create a very, very big victory in the context of their season here at the Forsyth Bar Stadium where the Highlanders return home after some horrific form away. Hello Ron and welcome back along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Highlanders career mode where the team has undergone a complete transformation. What a week it has been in the Highlanders camp. Everyone has gone. Two players have kept their spot. No, three players, I take that back, have kept their spot in the team. They are Armitage, Stain and Ben Smith. The only ones to remain in this Highlanders 15. Foreman Fowler now forward line up along the front row. Ritalik, another one. Five have kept their spot in the team alongside Duplessy. Armitage, Kane and Moen are along the back row. Gordy will partner with Stain in a, a new look halves combination. Doolin will come into 12 alongside De Jong, a Frenchman and a South African. Interesting combination. Alongside the wingers, New Zealander Savier alongside Welshman. George North of Ben Smith at fullback last week. A 5-0 loss to the Western Force. A disappointing, absolutely horrific result for the side. And their season is now in jeopardy of going down the toilet like that match did against the Force. If they can't get back on track today here at home, Forsyth Bar Stadium against the Stormers. Now the Stormers form hasn't been great either. They lost to the Chiefs, but they bounced back to hammer the cheaters. They are sitting third in South Africa with a six win, two loss record, which is very good. And it's just a matter of keeping on winning until they will climb into those top two spots. They have a very strong side and it's it's built on the back of an exceptional back row. Lone, Kulisi and Vermeulen will line up and they will be very, very hard to combat in the rucks. Their back line isn't bad either with Lambie, the and and the two Allens at 13 and 11 who will look to be a destructive force for the Stormers' side as they look to continue on and get their way into the top two spots in South Africa. All set to go here, the Stormers playing in the white and blue, being the away side for tonight's match. Highlanders, of course, in the straight blue home strip. We are good to go. Kickoff is underway, and we are going straight down the Highlanders' throat here. Gordy will pull the ball in Armitage. Takes a first tackle on the 22. Highlanders side of the field. Oh, they've got the wrong man at scrum half. Doolin will have to do some kicking out here. He changes his mind. Goes to George North. Seen too much pace out there. Decided to come back. Kicks high. De Jong chases. Oh, back there's Dallandy, who gets away from one. Gives the ball off to Van Answegen. And it sits up nicely. Here's a runaway. Good pass. Good offload. Keeping it through the back line. Dallandy changes direction, goes to Rogers, away from Arfoa, and Rogers goes to ground, right Please. on halfway, the Super Rugby sign and a penalty, Francois Stain hands in the ruck. Wow, that's not a good start at all for this Highlanders team, and this is a huge chance to go 3-0 up for the Stormers straight away, but no they're not, they've given it to Van Enswegen who will do the kicking and to touch into the 22 of the Highlanders. And this is exactly what the Stormers wanted. Opportunity to attack very early on. One out in the 22. Go to the middle and Rogers, the man who made the bus, is the one who pulls it in. Straight to the back line. Down in the infield to Khaleesi. And he goes down Please. in a good tackle. Armitage on that one. Beautiful hit from him. Now they look to the right. Over the top from the outside center, Allen. And the guard is hammered into touch. Well, it's hard to pick between the two Allens. This time, the play not coming off. And the Highlanders have a chance to move out of their 22. At the front, Gordy will go back to Savia. He's not going to kick the ball. He's almost put them in trouble. What a Please. dreadful play from the Highlanders. Where is their kicking 10? Here he comes. It's Stain. Surely he'll hammer this away, and he does. Away from everyone as well at the back was Harvey looking to advantage. get it on the bounce. It's advantage of the Stormers. Offside, I'm presuming it's a chaser. As here's a run from Allen. He's taken down another good tackle. The Highlanders' defence running well at the moment. Advantage is over as Thompson. Release. Tries to go himself. 
Can't get through. Turn on the ball. Got he. He off runs quickly to Savia. Savia's through the gap. He's one on one with Tommy. Oh, big tackle. Big fend away as well. Hit from behind. Here's a run now. The Highlanders looking to capitalize. It's staying through the middle. No super one goes all staying. He's through. He goes all the way. And De Jong can't get the pass. Release. And it's intercepted by the Stormers. Short ball. Oh, what a pass. Dreadful. Straight into the hands of Gordy. And the Stormers with it rolled straight over the top of him. And now Van Answegen will go himself. And he kicks us long. Straight down the throat of Ben Smith, who's looking to tee up a kick. Finds Stain with the pass instead. Kane. Sam Kane goes nowhere. Straight up the heart of the defense. Sets it up now for Armitage. A lucky survivor. De Jong. Over the goes on. Set it's Savia. It's Julian Savia. Oh, good tackle. Once again, Watami slows him down enough. Puts him into touch. Changing the direction of the run. From Savia. Angling him into touch. Now the Stormers are looking to exit their half. The Highlanders have struggled to score tries as Duplessis gets a nice away. Here's Stain. Oh, he's lining up three. And he's got them. Surely, yes. Well, it was a straight out play to Francois Stain, who just chopped that straight over. It was a bit close to that left hand upright. Questions may be asked as to whether that was successful or not. But the points are on the board. They counted. And the Highlanders lead 3-0 after 26 minutes. A very short flank kick as Fanatel pulls it in. Our forward takes three men with him. And the Highlanders stand and watch for a while before getting in the action. Now Gordy, he'll have this off the base of the ruck. He goes for a bit of a scamper. Now gives to Savia. A good tackle coming in on Julian Savia, but an awful pass once again. And Release. it's gone straight to the halfway line. The Stormers busting their way out of the own half. All oh, around the corner, a guard Van Storm is massive offside. There's a desperate attempt to tackle. They knew they had no one down that short side. Van Antwigan goes to Rogers, advantage is over. It's a big pass out from Allen. Find some space to Allen again. Both Allen's in charge here. Ben Smith looks to force his way through. Good tackle. Great tackle on Ben Smith. A very elusive runner. But they take him down this time. Gordy. Moen. They've got North, and North has got space. He needs support now. Doolin, Armitage, floats it out the back door, and it's picked up from Thompson. Release. Another play comes breaking down from the Highlanders. There's Low. Release. Strong runner of the ball, but flattened on that one. Advantage. Advantage. Advantage again to the Stormers for an offside. Wow, this has to equalise things. Our follow up. Just getting in the way here, you see him diving across by potentially where the ball was going to go. And three minutes to the break, yes. This had to be the call. Three points, they could tie it up going into the break. It could be a massive difference. Van Antwigen will take it. Playing at scrum half, it's a nicely, and that's another three. Successful penalty for Van Antwigen. And it's 3-3, Stormers Highlanders doing it tough here. Well, what's going to happen to this match here? The Highlanders are really struggling to score points. Where do the tries come from? They've got all the firepower they need, but they're just off the mark completely as the guards picked up and hammered into touch for the second time tonight. He goes bundling over the chalk, and we are half-time here at Forsyth Bar Stadium. 3-3 between the Highlanders and the Stormers. What a match this has been of almost disappointments and mistakes and opportunities gone begging between these two sides. The Stormers lead on possession and territory 54 and 65% respectively, but the Highlanders with five line breaks. What do they need to do to finish a try? The handling error is letting them down once again, four to one. Stormers have been pretty clean and the tackle count is almost dead even. What is gonna give for one of these two sides to win? Or will it be an absolute arm wrestle, an absolute grudge match, a dirty down and dead on match of just hard work and penalties before one of these two sides will take the points. We will find out in the next 40 minutes, so stick around. The second half is about to kick off.
3-3 after 40 minutes of action. This Forsyth Bar crowd has seen some fantastic moments in history with this Super Rugby side. This match and the last few have not been any of them. Castain kicks off and North is sitting there waiting and Van Inswick has been hammered. Wow, that is not the side you want to get down to when you hit the ground. Intercepted! Oh, the Highlanders did the work. They turned the ball over and now they're running away. Dealing the wide. It's a chance for the Stormers. It's Allen, but Savia wraps him up. Had to be made and Savia turns him over. And we're running away with Julian Savia. Now here goes to the skies. Over the top of a guard and over the top of Tabi. Two nice. down they go. Great take with Tabi saving the day for the Stormers. Van Hanswegen. Well, now it's intercepted by Gordy. The ball squirts out. It's going everywhere. Ritalik. Release. 15 metres out. Here's Arfoa. Oh, big hit on John Arfoa. And Stain has to again jump on the loose ball. Here's Falatel. Oh, Falatel. Shows good speed. Goes around the outside of Falatel. Oh, what a try. What an exceptional play by this young hooker. Wow, who saw that coming? We've seen some great moves from Scrum Halves in the past. But this one, well, this takes a cake. You've seen Gordy was the first man there. He hit the ruck. He had to secure that ball. And look at the speed of this. Scampering away. Watabe comes across. Desperate times. Look at that, Gordy. Bang. Gets the ball from De Jong. And there it goes. Falatau for the corner. What a finish as well. Diving, using every inch of the paddock. And the deadlock has been broken by this young sensation hooker, Sitovini Falatau. The Welsh connection is strong here in this Highlanders squad. What a try. George North would have been proud of that one. Watching out there on his wing. Here's Stain with an important two points. Oh, yes. The kicking is good tonight from Francois Stain. And the Highlanders lead 10-3. Is this a return to their try scoring form? Oh, we see a fight back here from the Stormers. Back at halfway, Van Answigen. Goes short left side. Up it comes for Doolin, who's raging through. Just back from injury. And he's got no remorse for his body. First match back since injuring a few weeks ago. Bryce Doolin is here come the Stormers. Looking wide is there for Caballero. And eventually Rogers goes Please. through the middle. Offload and field. More opportunities. Here is a run through the heart. Just around gets away. Foreman with a turnover. Intercepted from Lambie. And here comes a guy. Again busting away. Numbers to burn. It's Khaleesi. Oh, Please. and just about in he goes. What a run. From Carlisi. Shorter goes and Lambie gets hammered. Not releasing. And he gets penalised as well. Not giving up that ball in the ruck. Wow, great play from the Highlanders. That's game winning stuff right there. They knew they had to do something big. And they have delivered here. Kick from Stain into touch. Searching kick as well. A beautiful one. Just getting over the line. Going well over halfway. We have not long to go now. 20 minutes and a five-man line out. The try scorer Falatau goes to Ritalik and all. Gordy no, has knocked that on. What a dreadful chance wasted. Here's Colise again. Playing the ball. Goes back. Release. Lambie going nowhere through there. Now they look wide. Van Answigen. Good ball. Doolin is on the run. It's a chance for a guard, but he always seen Ben Smith tracking across there. Surely this is turnover ball. There's no, no numbers here for the Stormers. And the Highlanders throw everyone in. And Gordy will box kick this. Oh, this has gone into touch. Is he in the 22? Doesn't look like he's too confident. No, he's outside. Big call this. Right on the 22. It's a line out to the Stormers. They have a real chance to get back in this game. Oh, beautifully done from Rogers. Now they hit it out to Lambie. Lambie goes wide. Beautiful opportunity. Is this there for Allen? Allen against North. Good tackle. George North on the money. Oh, quickly recycled there from the Stormers. Now Lambie looks wide again. Opportunities running for Agar. And look at this. It's Falatau finished by Savia. 
And that's surely in touch. Not called there at all. And the Stormers will slowly get this ball back. Van Enswigen goes short and a, a strong run, Release. keeping it tight in the forwards. Van Enswigen again. Lambie pops it up nicely for low. They keep it tight again and running through the middle. It's Cabellero and he's still going, gets it to a guard. And he got it to Sip City, but it's been stolen. And a guy will score. He's going to steal it at the death. Wow, that is exceptional, keeping the ball alive from the Stormers. And they could steal a draw here with just minutes to go. Elijah Agar, what a run here from Cobellero. And an offload to Lambie, to Agar. Ben Smith was going the complete wrong direction. Oh, no, it was Gordy who was back there in the end goal, completely missing his targets on defence. Oh, it was desperate. It was desperate from the Stormers, but they get the result. And if they can nail this kick, we will be all tied up at 10 apiece. Great try. He's been threatening all night. As Elijah Agar. Now this is it. Pressure. Van Enswigen. Seven to go. Steps up. Strikes it. That's another two. No questioning that one. It's straight through the sticks. We are a 10 all ball game. These two sides, moments of brilliance. Still not separated. A draw as well on the cards here for these two teams. Six minutes to go on the clock. Stain is kicking off again. High. A number of players waiting for it. It is uh, picked up by Savia, who is quickly thrown it away and given away the penalty. Oh, that's huge. That is huge against Colisi. And instantly the Highlanders have opted for a shot of three points and a chance to win the game. Wow, this is huge. We talked about pressure just before against Van Enswegen. Now we have Stain stepping up. 40 metres on the angle. Strikes his kick. Left hand up right. It's gone short. It has gone short. And away comes low in a high tackle. Oh, that's dreadful. And it looks like our foul's in trouble. Bad to worse for the Highlanders. They're losing a man. Yeah, there it is. Yellow card. And that's the last we will see of John Alfoa. But surely the Stormers have to tap this and go. They do. And running Van Enswigen. Looks wide for options. Opportunity, but Alan has kicked this long. There goes full time. And here comes Ben Smith. Does not want to give up. Oh, he's knocked it on. Unbelievable. And a turnover ball. And away come. Oh, the Stormers have thrown it away. Got it intercepted again. And now we've got another chance. Oh, it's there for Allen. Back in field. It goes for Rogers. The Stormers have thrown away a try. Scoring opportunity to get another one out here. It's a chance for Allen. Back it goes to Allen. In field it goes. And Van Enswigen to Lambie. Back around the corner. Here's another chance for Allen. And so it goes. This ball is going everywhere. I cannot believe it. John Dolph. He's got it for the Highlanders. A breakdown that is good for the composure. Someone will explode if it kept up at that speed. Stain. Oh, and De Jong against his countryman. Oh, Kane goes to Savia. Savia needs someone on the inside. It's got Bryce Stolen. Bryce Stolen for the corner. First game back from injury. Armitage. Oh, he's thrown it the wrong way. De Jong to Fanatel. And he goes to ground and turned over. Oh, the Stormers have it back and they've kicked it out. Oh, I can't believe the finish, the Stormers, they have got flustered, and now the Highlanders will have to settle for a draw. 10-10, the final score. I have not seen anything like that finish in all my life. Both teams should have scored. I don't know what the Stormers were doing. They had a runaway try. It looked like it was Watabi, who was scampering into the corner. Again, the game got so so tight and so tension so much tension that the substitutes didn't get a chance to come onto the field unbelievable happenings here highlanders stormers 10 10 where were the subs where were the subs i'm shaking my head in disbelief not making the changes when required the highlanders that is why they didn't get the results fresh legs could have changed that game and now where do they go where do they look to next 
a massive loss to the force. Followed by a 10 or draw. Things started to get tight. Things started to get a bit... A bit um, confusing for the players. Started to get a, a bit stressful. The coach didn't have faith in his bench. And I'm putting that one down to a missed opportunity for the Highlanders who draw against the Stormers. Well, let's go through the scores. Felatel with a try. Stain with a conversion and a drop goal. A goal for the Stormers. Van Enswegen conversion and penalty to wrap up the scoring. 10-10. Stats are almost dead even. 47-53 possession. 44-56 territory both to the Stormers. The yellow card to our fella. Should have been a chance. Where was the chance? Where was where were the changes? Absolutely unbelievable. What I've seen here is just a couple of weeks now. Big losses, no changes when the Highlanders get under pressure. All the reliance goes on the 15 on the field. Unbelievable going is on here. 11 handling errors from the Highlanders. That's a big part of it. The drop goal, high tackle, big mistakes, another draw. Well, things just got too heated. The Highlanders have missed out. And the subs, well, they're kicking grass on the side of the pitch. Unbelievable happenings. And what a result this is. Highlanders storm is a draw. Let's see how the New Zealand conference table looks now. Well, this has to be the point where the coaching staff of the Highlanders start to get questioned, unable to make the calls when it really mattered. And ultimately, a couple of bad results now have started to raise the eyebrows of the higher-ups for the Highlanders. Such a star-studded side, unable to pull the results in. 10-10 is the final score. Blues get the win. Four points over the Waratahs, who are the Highlanders' next opponents. Hurricanes over the Cheetahs. Brumbies thrashing the Force. Bulls over the Rebels. Sharks over the Chiefs. And Reds over the Crusaders, wrapping up round 12. Into 13, the Brumbies over the Blues. Well, there's a loss of the Blues. That's a big result. Cheetahs over the Force. And the Chiefs have hammered the Lions. So they're waiting getting all the results here in round 13. So look at this, the Highlanders still two games behind though, and they still have two, only two points adrift of the Blues. So that'll please them, but they need to look out because the Chiefs also have played two extra games, but they are just two points behind. So the Highlanders still comfortably, ultimately the top side here with two games in hand. All they need to do is win one and they'll take that top spot on the ladder. Chiefs sit third, just a couple points behind Hurricanes. Still two games in hand. They win those. They could go right up to above the Chiefs even. The Crusaders at the bottom, 10 games played, 18 points. This season is complete, you would almost think, from those results. In South Africa, the Sharks lead the way. The Bulls, just four points behind the Stormers with that draw, go to 29. Four points further back from the Bulls. Cheetahs, 15. Lions on seven. One win for them this season. In Australia, the Brumbies, they're the best side, no question about that. Finalists last year as well. Waratahs, 15 points back. That's a huge difference. 28 points to the Reds, another 7 back. And again, 17 points back of the Force. And the Rebels on 8 wrap that up. So Highlanders, Waratahs. And now we start to think, why weren't the subs used? Really when full-time went and the penny dropped for the Highlanders. Should have brought the players on, should have made the changes. But it just didn't work out. That last stitch play, that little bit extra that you're looking for, just wasn't on the field. Now, they are home still, but they're up against the Waratahs. A bit of a nemesis side for this Highlanders franchise. Can they get this big win? They haven't won for a few weeks now, which is just huge. They haven't won by more than five points, more than three points, for about five weeks, which is just despicable form for one of the top squads in the competition. More changes will come in for the Waratahs as they look, or for the Highlanders against the Waratahs, I should say, as they'll look to put their best team out there on the field. That is me for today. Big point, next match, substitutes have to happen. I am done and dusted for today. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Hope you've enjoyed the match. A bit of a thriller in the end, but a draw, the final result. And I'll see you next time for the Highlanders against the Waratahs, round 13 of season 2018 of Super Rugby. Until then, thanks for tuning in and watching, and take care.